Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Ancients of days, as old as you are, you will never change. You are the unchangeable changer. We worship you, O Lord, even as we give you all thanks on this day, O Lord, the first Sunday in the year 2021, the year of our Lord. We give you all praise, Lord. We give you all adoration. Somebody go ahead and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. David said, I was glad when they said to me, Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. I want to welcome you today wherever you are connected from and I want to say a big happy new year to you and I want to say to you that this year is a year of total recovery that amen is not coming like you believe it come on if you believe it let that amen come like thunder Whatever you lost in 2020, I see you recovering it back in 2021. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give your praise. Thank you, Lord God. I just want to be where you are. Dwelling in your presence I don't want to worship from afar Draw me near to where you are I don't want to be where you are Dwelling daily in your presence Somebody wave those hands. I don't want to worship from afar. Lord, in 2021, Lord Jesus, draw me near to where you are. Sing it. I don't want to be where you are. Just want to be where you are, Lord Jesus. Dwelling daily in your presence. I don't want to worship from afar. Draw me near to where you are. Oh my God, you are my strength and my song. And when I'm in your presence, though I'm weak, will always strong. I just want to be where you are Dwelling daily in your presence I don't want to worship from afar Draw me near to where you are Father Lord in this year May we not be far from you. In this 2021, oh Lord, may we not worship from afar. Father, create, oh Lord, that avenue where we will come together, oh Lord, and not forsake the gathering of the brethren. Lord, we don't want to worship you from afar. Jesus, we want to come close to you. We want to be nigh unto thee. You Holy Spirit, for you are our shield, O oh Lord, and our butler, the great I am. I worship you today, and I say, May your name alone be glorified and be praised in the name of Jesus. That amen is not coming like there is a believer in the house right now. If you know and you know that you are the redeemed of the Lord, let that amen come like thunder. 
if you know and you know that 2021 is a year of total recovery for you let that amen come like thunder in a question if God is good. For I know that God is good. And the good God that we serve watches over us. He has given his angels charge over us that we will not dash our foot against the stone. So I pray for you right now watching from afar I decree that in 2021 you will not dash your foot against the stone that amen is not looking like you I say you will not kick pocket in the name of Jesus you will not dash your foot against the stone in the name of Jesus every year has what it takes to be victorious in it and the greatest of it all is for you to continually be in the presence of God. The presence of God is, is the ability that gives you grace to run even in the face of adversity. I, I pray and I ask, oh Lord, that whatsoever happened, may I not be away from your presence. May I continually be in your presence. And I know that that prayer is your prayer. That you don't walk out of the will of God in 2021. The same way you consistently followed instruction and walked within the instructions and the will of God. So it is also when you continue in this 2021, it shall be a year of blessings for you. It shall be a year of greatness for you. It shall be a year of multiple dimensional breakthrough. Somebody shall fire. Who is like unto our God? I've seen the finger of God in this ministry. I've seen God take men by his own hand. Bring them out of the valley of the shadow of death. The psalmist said, though I walk. Though I walk. It is not a question if you will walk. But though I walk. Through the valley of the shadows of death. Yeah. Yet, even in it, I will fear no evil. Not because my bank account is heavy. Not because I am more handsome or, or taller than everybody. Just because the Lord is with me. One with God is majority. Am I communicating with somebody? In this year, if you must make it and you must succeed, you must learn to forget about the things of this world and cleave unto God. Amen. The songwriter said, my hope is built on nothing else. Your hope must be built on the solid rock of Christ. The greatest solid rock you will ever build
drift. It, there is hardly a home you get into that you will not see people that are grieving. There is hardly a person you will talk to that doesn't know somebody that knows somebody that has lost somebody. 2020 came with a storm. And before my eyes, I saw scriptures come to pass. 2020 was a year for those that know their God shall do exploits. 2020 was a year that exposed the weakness in the body of Christ. 2020 was a year that exposed a whole lot in the life of many believers. 2020 was a year that exposed the weaknesses of some churches. 2020 was a year that made people understand that it's not about their, their eloquency on the altar. It's not about their theological experience. Uh, it's not about their, their, their qualifications. But it's all about God. 2020 brought realization and the need for consecration into the body of Christ. 2020 made you and I to know that with your money in your bank account, you still need God. 2020 made you to realize that even if Forbes have declared you the richest man on earth, but there is something that you still need. You still need God. Men and women were distressed. Why? Because their loved ones were no more. And David was greatly distressed. There was no peace. There was no settlement in his heart. Beloved, I want to talk to us this day on the topic of caption, my total recovery. My total recovery. There is no recovery without a loss. You cannot talk about recovering something without first of all losing something. You cannot talk about recovering something without first of all actualizing or come to the, to the knowledge that something is missing around you. There were great expectations. I remember January, 1st of January 2020. Great expectations. Great, great, you know, great prophecies came from left and right of how great 2020 will look like. There were just few pastors, few ministers that were able to have a sneak peek of what will befall the church in 2020. But I took a deep dive and I and I went through certain prophecies from great the mighty, both those ones that are mighty men of God and those ones that are regular men of God. Everybody prophesied how the year will be great and lovely. Nobody foresaw the pandemic that will hit the whole world. Man proposes, God disposes. It is not of him that will it, it's of God that showeth mercy. That you made it through 2020, it wasn't because you were smart or you pray more than every other person was just the mercies of God. People are still going through distress even as we speak. Even into 2021 there are people that still have some distress in their hearts. Distress in their family. Distress in their business. Distress in their workplace. Everywhere there is no peace. I 
am not coming to make you feel at ease or make you feel at home or make you feel relaxed I'm coming to tell you a clear cut message from God Ephesians chapter 6 said something. He said, after you have done all you need to do, stand. For there are believers that have done all, but they have refused to stand. In 2020, I saw young believers. Their faith grew from zero to hero. I saw men and women that couldn't pray that turned prayer warriors. When the, the, the scientists have lost hope, even when they say the vaccines are out, yet men do not even believe in the vaccines. <laughs> Come on, who we'll say God is not alive? I see a year where men and women will tell you keep your vaccines and open the church for us because in the church we will not have distress in the church we will have hope in the Lord I will lift up my eyes up to the hills from whence cometh my help my help will not come from the vaccines my help will come from the Lord God who made the heavens and the earth I saw men and women that needed God. People that sang, I need thee, oh, I need thee. They sang that song from the depth of their heart. Every hour I need thee, I say, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. Come on, let me shut up, Oh, I need thee. I say every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me. I come to sing it one more time. I need it. I need it. Oh, I need it. Every hour I need it. his life when he sang this song I need thee oh Lord in this dispensation oh I need thee I am going through a distress in my life my men were about to stone me oh Lord help me out help me out help me out oh Lord can I tell you something? This year we only answer to men that see need for God in their life. This year, 2021, don't joke with this year because it's not just an ordinary year. It's a year where the sheep and the goats a spirit grief can lead to suicide grief can carry you into the thoughts to take your own life grief can
can dismantle things around you. Grief can make you lose everything you even have. Grief can put you in the place of dilemma. Grief can put you in a place of no recovery. But the only thing that can save you in the days of grief is to seek the face of God. Can I hear you say, I will seek the face of God. Can I hear you say, I will seek the face of God. In this 2021, you have to get ready to seek his face. Seek his face. The Bible said, one of the things David did when grief came was that he encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. If the Bible you have is not a borrowed Bible, please take note of he encouraged himself in the Lord his God. You cannot gain courage from God when God does not know you. You can only gain courage from God. And courage is not just an ordinary thing in as much as grief is a spirit. Courage also is a spirit. Am I talking to somebody? You need courage to handle grief. You need courage to handle disappointments. You need courage to handle failures. Courage is needed in the face of adversity. Come on, they say, I hear. David encouraged himself in the Lord God. David understood that there is no other person he can call upon. And the Bible said, after he has allowed courage to get a hold of him, in verse 7 of that scripture, 1 Samuel chapter 30, in verse 7, and the Bible said, and David said to Abiadab the priest, Ahimelech son, I pray thee, bring hither the effort, and Abiadab brought Tida the effort to David. Child of God, if you don't have a priest over your head, you are in trouble in 2021. Even after you have courage, you need a priest to lead you in the face of this war. For it's not a war that you can fight with your physical hand. Woe unto him that is alone in 2021. Woe unto him that have no priest over him. Woe unto him that have no prophet over his head. For the rain is coming and the sun is going to be hot in this year. The Bible said the priest appeared up, brought Tilda the effort to David. And verse 8, another thing you must learn to do in verse 8 is that you must learn to inquire of the Lord. In verse 8 and the Bible says, and David inquired at the Lord saying, shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? Ah, and he answered him, sure. For thou shalt surely overtake. Thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover all. Can I hear you say I will pursue? I will pursue. You're not saying it like you believe it. Declare and say in this year 2021, I will pursue and I will overtake, I will recover all. Hallelujah. The Bible said that David had so clear from the law. Pursue. Some of us that, are, that, that we are not used to inquiring of the Lord of what to do. You may have it difficult in this year. This year is meant for men and women that don't take any step without hearing from God. 
this year is meant for men and women that we wait upon the Lord and hold unto the horns of the altar and until they hear they will not take a move in 2021 do not make any move in a haste always wait to get clarity from God because this season is not a season where you can just go into things blindly David inquired of, of the Lord and in this year also you must learn what to say to God there are sometimes we want to pray but we don't know what to say to God your words are your power words has power and communication has authority David knew what he wanted and what he wanted to ask from the Lord before he inquired of the Lord If you don't ask the right questions, you may not get the right answers. Like to pray. Like to put your knees down and pray situations out yourself. Don't run this year by depending on any man. In this year 2021, men will fail you. Matthew 24, we are in the end time. People will break truths. They will break trust. They will betray one another. I am saying things and I want you to take notes of those things. Even in the body of Christ, there will be cracks here and there. People will break camps. must learn to inquire of the Lord. In 2021, don't force anybody to journey with you that is not willing to journey with you. Learn to tell people that this point you have come is the highest you can go. You can't go with me yonder. When Jesus took his disciples to go pray, he got to a point, he told them, wait here, you must learn to tell people, certain, certain persons in your life to say, wait here, I will go yonder. Just hold on here. You can't journey with me to the inner place. I must go alone. There are journeys you, you can't journey with people. Journey with people is you put that mission at stake. There came a time in the life of Jesus that he needed to be alone. When you are in the midst of the of, of crowd of people, you can't hear God clearly. Because everybody will be speaking to you. You won't know the one that is the voice of the Holy Spirit and the one that is the voice of men. Everybody is talking. Everybody. You must learn to tell people, be silent. If I need to hear from the Lord. In the year 2021, don't allow negativity people to play a major role in your life. When David was distressed, he never sought for men that would tell him how he has become a failure. He went after the God of all gods. He went after the Lord of lords, the King of kings, that knows how to take us from the place of penury and set our feet upon the rock. It's a year of recovery, but if you are not careful, you will not recover. Am I communicating with somebody? For you, to recover, you must first of all discover. It takes discovery for you to recover. So if you 
you are seated and you don't want to make a move you don't want to discover anything what the Lord is saying I tell you brothers and sisters you will be, not be able to recover God forbid The Lord told me, son, it shall be a year of recovery. But even with that, you must learn to discover. You must learn to discover. When Jacob saw the angel of the Lord, the Bible said he discovered and he wrestled with the angel all through the night. Believers learn to wrestle in 2021. Stop negotiating your way out of that problem. Because that's what some of us do. Always we want to negotiate. We just want to negotiate. Uh, I know that this, but uh, can't we just go right around it? No, there is no negotiation in the kingdom. It's either you are overrunning your enemies or your enemies are overrunning you. It's either the problem is bowing to you or you are bowing to the problems it's either you are exalting the mountain above your God or you are exalting your God above your mountains be wise be wise in this year men that seek God they don't miss if you are a seeker of Elohim, ah, you will never make a mistake. Even when you make a mistake, he will turn your mistakes into miracles. If you seek the Lord your God, you will find him. You will show him. Consciously or unconsciously, by omission or commission, you must find God if you seek him. No man ever follow the Lord and get lost. Am I communicating? You don't follow God and miss your target. In this year, learn to follow the Lord. No matter what people are saying around you, let them say. Am I communicating? The mouth is anointed to talk. So you can't stop the mouth in 2021 to talk. The mouth must talk because that is the mission of the tongue to talk. Don't make your decisions in 2021 based on what people will say. What will people say? Amen? And let me shock you. Those of you that every year you do New Year resolution. New Year resolution does not work. <laughs> New Year resolution without God is equal to going back to your vomit. The word of God will produce for you. When David made his decision to encourage himself, not in his friends, not in his brother or sister, but encourage himself in the Lord his God. Which means David personalized God in his lifetime. Let to personalize God in 2021 and God will make you his priority. Somebody didn't hear that. I said, let the personalize God and he will make you his priority in 2021. I've learned to personalize God. Some years back, I was in Asia and I was preaching. And each time I keep talking, I say, my God, my father, my God, my father. The Asian pastors in that conference they got angry after the conference. They called me aside and said, it is wrong for you to want to claim God to yourself alone. I said to them, excuse me, sir. Ah, I am born of God and the spirit of God dwelleth in me and I know God for myself, not for all of us. So, 
if it's an, an offense to you, I have no apology. But he's my personal father and my personal God. If you get too angry with it, please go and hug the transformer. The reason why David made great exploit, read all through the book of Psalms, you will see that there was a pattern that David was living. David never made a move without seeking the face of God. David always personalized God to himself. Child of God, learn to personalize Elohim and he in turn will turn around to make you and your family, to make all that concerns you, he stop priority personalize God personalize him because David personalized God God also speaks to him in person God speaks to him David was both king and a prophet am I communicating with somebody he, he, he he's a kind of type that is not ordinary Hallelujah. The father of David, Jesse, was not a prophet. Am I communicating? Was not a, a, a king. But somehow, somehow, he was born of the lineage of kings. But after many generations, it jumped many generations and came to the time of David. And the Lord started a new covenant with David. Operate in the wisdom of God in 2021. I tell you, you will see God work for you. You will see the scripture jump out of the text and become a personality and work for you. Hallelujah. It pays. It pays to seek and to run after God. No matter what you're doing, child of God. No matter who you are. No matter what you think, your accolades and everything you think you have achieved. If you have no peace in Christ, you will experience crisis all the days of your life. So therefore, it is high time we reevaluate. Don't stop this year by doing the wrong things. My communicator with somebody. Don't start this year by investing wrongly. In the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy your enemy, chapter 11, Deuteronomy 11, 24 to 25. Deuteronomy 11, 24, 25. Let's see what the text have there. Deuteronomy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see great things coming out from you in this year that amen doesn't look like you Deuteronomy 20, 11 24 to 25 he said every place we are on the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours why come together with somebody Everywhere you step on, I have given it to you. He said, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the rivers, the rivers, Ephraim, even unto, unto what, go ahead, push it down, unto the Altamus Sea shall your coast be. God is willing to go to the extreme with you in 2021. The great question is this, are you willing to journey with God in 2021. Are you willing to get into that aircraft and take off with God from January down to December? Ah, uh, I serve a God that knows how to pilot the aircraft. I serve a God that will not put you in the ditch. I serve a God that will take off in January and land the aircraft peacefully in December. I serve a God will not put you in danger. I serve a God that will not abandon you at the middle of the road. My God does not crash the aircraft. There is no one like him. All 
He's asking, are you willing to journey? Are you willing? Are you willing to go all the way out? David was willing. And God was always there for him. God was always there to protect him. God was always there to see him through. Even in the mess David found himself, God turned that mess into a message. You can't beat the love of God. God is not loving you because you are so righteous. Mm -mm, that's not true. God is not having mercy on you because you give so much light. Uh -uh. Said I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I thank God I'm among those God we have mercy. Don't get jealous of me. I don't know of you. Uh, it's left for you to know for yourself. Am I communicating with somebody? Ah, uh, I, 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 I give God praise that I'm, I'm among those that God have had mercy. 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 It was that mercy that made him to help David from the place of distress. And when David inquired of the Lord, this was what the Lord said to David. Praise God. God said to him, pursue. Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake. I pray for someone today. As you pursue from January, before you get to the middle of this year, you will overtake. That amen is not born again. I say you will overtake by fire. In the name of Jesus, as you keep overtaking, by the time you get to December 31st, you will recover all you have ever lost. In the name of Jesus, and with that fail, the Lord will say to you. In verse 18 of that scripture, First Samuel chapter 30, verse 18 and 19. Verse 18 and 19. He's a covenant keeping God. He doesn't tell you go without him being there for you. He can't tell you move without him defending you. If God is the one that has sent you, he will see you through. First Samuel chapter 30 verse 18 to 19. If God is the one that has sent you, he will defend you. songwriter say I'm pressing on I'm pressing on oh Lord I'm pressing on the onward way I'm pressing on child of God are you willing to press on are you willing to push further or are you tired don't be like Elijah that had one breakthrough in just one crusade and he was tired already of breakthrough. Am I communicating? No, don't, don't, don't leave the kind of Elijah kind of ministry that only one crusade he had. Success in that crusade. He felt like he has achieved so much. No. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Because pressing hard is all about the kingdom and the kingdom is all about you pressing keep pressing because if you don't press you will be oppressed and when you are oppressed depression will come so to avoid depression and from being oppressed please child of God press in in the name of Jesus There is no HST in you pressing. It's free of charge. Just press and receive. Verse 18. And David, are you seeing the prophecy came to pass? What well, David acquired and prayed of God in verse 18 to 19, it took place. And David recovered some. <laughs> My God. And David recovered only his wife and kids. Recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David.
David rescued his two wives. Verse 19. And there was nothing. Somebody said nothing. I prophesy over you today that you will never have anything lacking in 2021. That amen has no power inside of it. Stand up on your feet and begin to declare. Father, in 2021, I will lack nothing. I refuse to live a life of lack. In the name of Jesus, abundance shall be in my household. In the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Shaskabala Katea. I will lack nothing. Nekuparos Kate. I will lack nothing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. David, David was testifying. Oh, come and see. Do you know that I have not even gone to the middle of the year yet? I am lacking nothing. God has recovered all that I lost, all the beautiful opportunities, all the good job that I couldn't get in 2021. Oh my God! The Bible said in the book of Deuteronomy that 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 this blessing shall over shall follow you and overtake you on the way. Do you know what it means for the blessings of God to follow you and continuously pursue you and overtake? Listen, let me prophesy to two persons. I don't know who those two persons are. You will not pursue after blessing in this year. But blessings and breakthroughs shall follow you. In the name of Jesus. Bible said in the book of Psalm chapter 23 say goodness and mercy there is an angel called goodness and the angel called mercy when these two angels collide together and stand for you I tell you the truth ah, though a thousand shall fall at the side ten thousand at your right hand side but the Bible said no evil no power no destruction shall come close to your dwelling place that is your portion in the name of jesus that is your portion in the name of jesus somebody shall fire god gave him gave him all verse 19 and there was nothing lacking to them neither small nor great neither sons nor daughters neither spoil nor anything that they had taken to them David recovered David recovered David recovered somebody's about to recover ah somebody's about to recover ah I say you are about to recover. I say you are about to recover. Stand up on your feet and begin to declare I recover. Come on, go ahead. Stand up on your feet and declare. I recover, I recover, I recover by fire. In the name of Jesus, I recover all. In the name of Jesus, I recover for my brother. In the name of Jesus, I recover for my sister. In the name of Jesus, I recover for my household. In the name of Jesus, I recover for the Tunamis Palace. In the name of Jesus, I recover in my family. Hey, Kobalamo Santa Gabaha. prophesy to you your song shall be I'm amazed at your glory and praise by your mercies oh Lord I live to worship you sing I'm amazed I'm amazed at your glory 
from that illness in the name of Jesus I see someone recovering I see someone that have lost hope in faith someone that has lost hope in Christianity someone that has lost hope in the Lord be recovered you are recovered this day in the name of Jesus 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 hey. You're recovering every year you have lost. Every month you have lost. All the years that the locusts, the caterpillars, the pamper worms, all the years they have taken from you, recover by fire. Recover by fire. Recover in the name of Jesus. Recover in the name of Jesus. Recover in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and give him praise. 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 Give him Give him praise. Give Jesus praise. Give him praise in your house right now. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Somebody, you are recovering your spiritual sight. You are recovering your spiritual gifts. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon you. Hey, Kabalaku Sidabaha. Hey, I see the cloud of glory over your head. See the cloud of glory surrounding you. Thus said the Lord of hosts, I will recover all you have lost. I will recover all the years you have lost. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed. Your glory and praise by your mercy. those hands to Jesus. Give him praise, somebody. <laughs> You roski brahandaroska, I roba libro santori satamaros, I koprus kapo satamahandaros, limbra kuparo satagabaha.
you, Holy Spirit. Come on, go ahead and worship the Lord. Worship Him and the beauty of His holiness. If you believe that is your year of total recovery, come and go ahead and worship Him. Go ahead and worship Him. Go ahead and worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. In the name of Sakakaba. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hey, we need to worship you. We thank you beyond all that we know. We thank you beyond all we have experienced. We thank you, Lord. In this year, Lord, may you not let our enemies exact over us. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh Lord, Whoever that has bowed their heads in shame. I come right now as a commander of liberation. I cause your head to be lifted in glory. I cause your head to be lifted in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever that have made you to hide your face in shame. I decree that shame is gone. Because grace has come. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And amen. 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 Jump those hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Give you all the praise, Lord Jesus. Amen.